What's good YouTube, it's Adam from Amba Music Mogul and welcome to another video. Carrying on with that Logic 10.5 content, in this one we'll be talking about Logic's Quick Sampler. I'm going to show you various ways in which you can use it. It's definitely very powerful and it's going to be one of the most used plugins for me personally. Now Quick Sampler lets you take any sample or sound source and quickly transform it into a playable instrument. You can literally drag hint audio from anywhere, from within the Logic browser, from any region of the timeline, from other apps like voice memos. You can even record audio straight into the Quick Sampler plugin, and that is my favorite feature. And also, as a bonus, anything that you put into it, or record into it, or drag into it, it will auto-pitch that sample for you, and no other plugin does it quite like Quick Sampler. So let's jump right into it. First off, I'm going to show you how to work with Quick Sampler as a one-shot sample editor. If you're familiar with Ableton Simpler, this is sort of Apple's really cool take on like a single sample editor and player. So for us trap and hip-hop producers, we work a lot with 808s and we always got to tune our 808s just to make sure that it's in key with our song. So to do that here, all you got to do is take your 808, drag it into optimized, and you're done. There's no legwork. Don't have to do anything else it auto pitches that sample for you so if i go ahead and hit a note on my keyboard it's pitched and i know i'm ready to go next let's go ahead and go over to our loop tool here or loop browser and i'm just going to bring in this loop right here and discuss all the features of this plugin with this loop so starting at the top is our classic mode if we go ahead and hit our note on our keyboard it plays that sample for as long as we hold down the note. One shot, hit the note once. It'll play out that entire sample. Slice, it'll auto slice at transients for you or whatever mode you decide. You can go ahead and change the mode right here. You can decide by beat divisions, by equal divisions, or by manual. But I'm gonna leave it on a transient note for now. And we can go ahead and adjust its sensitivity. I think that looks about right. Now what's really cool here is we can decide where our notes are placed on our key bed. So for me personally, I like to place my samples on the white keys. So I could just change this to white. You'll notice all the notes now are white keys. And it makes it easier for me to sample and play out those samples. If you like to place them on the black, you can do that. Or by default is set to chromatic. Quick Sampler also harnesses the power of flex mode. So if I go ahead and turn this on here and make sure I follow the tempo, it's gonna follow the tempo of my session, which is right now at 90 beats per minute. So no matter what pitch I play, it's gonna follow the same tempo in time. So I just played three different octaves of C and it played the same time, just at a different pitch. Really, really powerful tool right there. Moving on with the plugin, on the bottom portion of it, you have your two LFOs, your mod matrix for cause and effect effect section. You have your pitch section where you can adjust things like your portamento glide, and of course the pitch itself. You have your filter section with a drive unit. You have your amplitude section over here, so your polyphony, you can set it to mono. If you're in one-shot mode, definitely recommend mono on that. Your panning and your volume and along the bottom are your envelopes. All right, so option number two to use Quick Sampler is by sampling drums, chopping them up, sending them over to Drum Machine Designer and saving that drum kit for future sessions. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to do just that. Let's go over to our loop browser here, go over to Beats. Let's just take that one over there, drag that in. We'll go to slice mode. And I think that looks good to me. So we got a kick, a hi-hat, snare. If I go ahead and just drag this right here, I'm just gonna select the notes that I wanna bring into my drum kit. If I select right here in the bottom portion of the window, control click and go to create drum machine designer track, that's gonna automatically take those three samples, chop it up and place it as a drum kit here within Logic's drum machine designer. And because Drum Machine Designer harnesses the power of Quick Sampler, I can go ahead and adjust what sample I want on that pad straight from here. 
this makes life a lot easier when working with samples. So that's just a quick way to chop up a drum loop and then save a drum kit with individual samples set on individual pads. All right, so the third way in which you can use Logic's quick sampler, here I just dragged in a guitar loop. This is what it sounds like. So that has some nice guitar tones to it. We can go ahead and actually change the way that this pattern is played out. I'm gonna go over to my slice mode and it looks like Quick Sampler did a good job of slicing it up. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go take this right here, the same spot we went to previously and drag it into a live loop cell. And now we got that MIDI region of that guitar of its playback at least, if I hit play. We just changed the way that that guitar was playing. Just a quick and fun way to work with different samples and audio files as well. So the last thing I wanna show you about Quick Sampler is my personal favorite. So I save the best for last, or at least in my opinion. For my workflow, I'm always recording in a lot of sounds, one shot sounds for my drums. So if I go over to Recorder, I can actually just record samples and sounds straight into Logic's Quick Sampler. All you gotta do is set your instrument, which is, mine is already set right here, to instrument one. Hit record. Just record in a sample. Like I said, Quick Sampler auto pitches that sample for you and stretch it out across my key bed. And now I can go ahead and play out that sample. And we can go ahead and adjust and edit the sample from here. So really, really cool stuff. That is Quick Sampler. Showed you a couple ways in which you can use it. If you do have any questions on this, we can go ahead and talk and carry this conversation down in the comments below. If you do wanna learn more about everything that's new with Logic's 10.5 update, hit the card in the top right-hand corner. It is a playlist. It will take you through everything that's new with this 10.5 update. It is free, so go ahead and download that update. That's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. Later. Peace.